I'm going to show you how you can design or draw your own seismogram. And we're actually going to do it from the seismogram station in Sydney for this particular earthquake. Alright, so what have we got? We know the arrival of the P wave, 10, 25 and 12 seconds. The arrival of the S wave was 10, 25 and 25 seconds. The difference between the P and the S, the SP interval is only 13 seconds. But that's important information for us to have. We also need to know what the amplitude is, which is 2 millimetres. So, with that in mind, we can go ahead to our seismogram, uh, or our graph paper. Okay, so let's work on um, the scale. I've already made a start here on the scale on this side. But, um, okay, just put it into focus. All right. So look, it just makes sense for us to use as much of it as we can. So given that the um, the amplitude, maximum amplitude of the S wave is 2 millimetres, I've gone ahead and said, okay, well, let's just use all of that in 1, 2 millimetres. And so we've got minus 1 and minus 2. We need to start in the middle of our, line, of our graph paper. All right, so on our x-axis, we need to put our time. So I'm actually going to start at 10.25 here. And each one of these little lines is going to be a second. So here is 10, 25, 0, 0. And then we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 seconds. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's 10, 25, and 10 seconds. Now, the arrival of the S wave, of the P wave, was 10, 25, and 12 seconds. So here's the arrival of the P wave. 10, um, 10, 25, and 12 seconds. And then 13, 14, 15, 20, and 25. So the arrival of the S wave was 10, 25, and 25 seconds. And then we can go ahead and just continue to mark this 35, 40, etc. Okay, right. So now we just need to um, go ahead and write our trace. So nothing is happening. I'm going to change to a dark pen so you can see. Nothing is really happening at all until 10, 25, and 12 seconds, which is here. And this is when we're going to have our P wave arrive. Now, we don't have enough information to say when the P wave stops shaking the ground, so I'm just going to say it's around about there. Okay, This is a little bit arbitrary. So, um, so we've got our P wave, so we know our P wave is smaller than our S wave, so I just draw something like that. And then it goes flat again until 10, 25 and 25 seconds when we've got our S wave. Now S wave, remember, has a magnitude, maximum magnitude of, 10, of 2 millimetres um, up and down. And let's just decide on a spot where we're going to stop the S wave shaking. Alright, and now we really let rip. Okay, so we need to make sure we hit that maximum. And then, of course, it's just going to go off again. So that's all we can do.